guys welcome to my youtube channel and thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for being here um so today we are going to talk about products uh, from a company that has first become one of my favorites so today i'm going to focus on the environ products i don't know if you've seen environ products where you are but environ is a south african based company um it was created manufactured created started by a doctor a dermatologist here in south africa so what happened is when i came from europe i was having so much trouble with my skin like my skin was dry it was she, like she was not cooperating with me at all like i tried everything for like over a month and everything i did like nothing really worked and so i decided to go to uh, a professional so i went to sobe and then there is where i had my first facial and when the lady was done obviously she suggested products that i should use for my skin you know like um she was able to target my problem areas and the products that's, that that she suggested were the environment products so she suggested that i would use the gentle cream cleanser the debut moisturizer and the rad sunscreen so that's what i've been using and i just thought i should tell you guys what i think about this product um when i looked up the reviews online there were not very many and so i just thought why why not tell you what i think about this product so if you'd like to see me using them if you'd like to see what i think about them then stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start with the gentle cream cleanser from Environ. Obviously, I'm reviewing Environ products. I mean, duh. Um, so this is the gentle cream cleanser. Right now, my face, all I did when I got off the shower today, um, I washed my face with just water alone. I stopped using soap, I guess, a month ago when my facial lady asked me um, to just stop it because it strips your skin off of moisture. And that's one, I mean, if you have dry skin like mine, what you want is you want the moisture you, you you want it you want all the moisture you want all that you can get and so using soap is not going to help your situation if you have dry skin you want to get yourself a gentle cream cleanser so this has a sort of lotion kind of consistency in the beginning i thought the lady was joking with me when she told me that this is what i'm going to use to wash my face um but after three days it was it was okay i mean it cleansed my face i could feel that my face face was cleansed two minutes i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna use this cleanser because i want you to see the difference when i've just used the water and how this like tops up your hydration so yeah i'll be right back so this is the after and i must say i'm very impressed i mean look my skin looks like it's glowing can you see that hey hey to the highlights um my skin looks like it's really really glowing um it feels more supple it feels nice and smooth all i did was literally pop some of the gentle cream cleanser put it on my face rub it with my cloth and then wash it off my face and then i just part dry my face like it's so simple but it just uh, it took my skin from zero to a hundred real real quick my skin is so dry because i have dry skin but you can see that a bit of the moisture has been replenished for me that's just wow like i knew there was a difference but i didn't think it was this visible so yeah um the cream cleanser does have a very very i did mention a very lotion like um consistency so i'm gonna show you that's what it looks like i'm just gonna my skin is dry so you can see it's dry right there and that's the that's the um cleansing lotion so yeah let's just rub it on and you can see how it looks when we are done like so that's what my hand with the cream cleanser looks like and that's what my hand without looks like you can see that there's a very very big moisture difference one is glowing one is not um one looks healthy one does not this is really good i must say that so i'm happy with the cream cleanser i think it does a good job and if you have dry skin or even combination skin i used to think i had combination skin until i went and i got skin mapping i think until i got skin mapped and i was told no girl you have severe dry skin and all the time i had been using things for oily skin just because you know sometimes when you put on makeup you feel we all feel like we have oily skin but yeah so yeah turns out i had dry skin if you have dry skin i'm telling you run get yourself a gentle cream cleanser 100 ml for the of the gentle cream cleanser goes for 175 rand which um i think has it's probably gonna last me two months because well maybe even more because i bought it when it was here and now let me just put it against the sun um oh god um right here so right now it's all the way here 
Yeah, so that's the match that I've used, and I've used it in about a month and a half, maybe more. I think more. Um, so yeah, I think you get your value for money. 175 rand for something that you use every day and has such wonderful results, especially if you have dry skin. I think that's a win-win situation. <laughs> Okay, so next we're gonna do the debut. We're gonna talk about the debut uh, moisturizer. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this one is quite pricey. This is 60 ml or 2.03 fluid ounces, and it goes for 320 Rand. This is expensive. I've had it for the same amount of time, and it's well, I guess we are halfway done. And so I would say maybe last you two, maybe three months, depending on your usage. I've been using it two times a day. I've been using it during the day and at night. Um, so yeah, um, I, I don't know. I've been using it at night because I didn't have a night option. Although I do know that there's options for night. But after spending 320 plus 175, I was going to stick to using this just at night. So yeah, this is um, a moisturizer that has vitamin A. Um, very minimal vitamin A. It's that's why it's called debut because that's what the environment, the environ, the environ guys touch you with because it has like the least amount of vitamin A. So I'm gonna apply this on my skin as we talk, and I can tell you more about it. So there's different kinds of vitamin A, vitamin A, vitamin A depends on where you're from. Um, so the common ones are Inova, Retin A, and Tretin, Tretinion or Tretin. I'm just gonna butcher that name so I'm gonna put it somewhere here but this one seems to have retinal palmitates I haven't done much research on it so I'm if I find anything interesting I'm probably gonna put it in the description box and it also has better carotene which is very beneficial for your skin um, so yeah so I'm gonna chit chat with you guys as we apply this um, so long time ago people used to well not long time ago 1997 although that's long time ago People used to use vitamin A, but um, they would have side effects such as, you know, like sun sensitivity, irritation, their skin would get dry um, and red, and so people stopped using it. Um, ooh. Yeah, so, so people stopped using it. Um, and so the, the uh, I would call it the cure or the solution. The solution of not getting those side effects is you have to follow up anything with vitamin A with your sunscreen. If you do not, it's going to be a sunburn situation. You are going to look, be looking tan, but if that's your, I mean, if that's what you want, I mean, go ahead, you know. Um, okay, so vitamin A has so many benefits for your skin. And one of them being it like prevents like premature aging and that's because it increases the collagen in your skin It promotes wound healing. So if you have wounds in this case um, a wound would be considered as acne. So if you have acne then Vitamin A would probably be beneficial for you because it would make the wounds or the scars on your face heal faster If you have hyperpigmentation, then it reduces the brown spots and the pigmentation spots If you have like acne, this is perfect because it reduces the production of sebum I know that's not very really good when you have um, uh, dry skin like mine But for me, the reason why I went to the lady to help me out with my skin is because I was very, very concerned about my uneven tone So um, it, despite the fact that I have dry skin, I'm, but I also want the even skin tone So I have to like triple or quadruple my moisture on my the moisture on my face just so that I don't go looking like a chicken um, Yeah, so my main concern was not even the drying of the skin I think I can counter that it was just the hyperpigmentation and everything so the reason why I've been flaking around here is because the lady told me that my nose was clogged, meaning it had a lot of dead skin and whatever, and the same to my um, my smile marks and under my eye, and what else did they say? Oh yeah, my, there was a lot of discoloration around my forehead, and over a month, I've actually seen that improve. This side has improved, like there's no like shadowing, but this side still has a bit, and that's what um the product has actually um gotten rid of so i had like severe panda eyes i look like a panda and that has also improved so i don't have to use as much concealer as i used before um so yeah that's the situation this is a one and a half month update i'm gonna be telling you how it goes in three months in six months just to see if these environment products do actually work so yeah Vitamin A is really essential for your skincare. Actually, it's vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Like when you combine those three, you're gonna have the perfect skin.
Okay, so like I had mentioned before, uh, people are very afraid of using the vitamin A um, moisturizers and whatever because of the effects. And obviously to counter the side effects of the vitamin A, you have to use the sunscreen. So this is the RAD RAD antioxidant sunscreen, which has an SPF of 15. So this is a 100 ml bottle or tub. Yeah, it's a 100 ml tub or, <coughs> excuse me, 3.3 fluid ounces. Um, worth of product like the SPF 15 is way too little because we're in Africa not a Scandinavian country I think the SPF should be way more um, but I think there was sort of thinking in the lines of you know you using the the moisturizer but I think they should have thought about like generally uh, I mean you cannot sunscreens are not a thing that you combine and get one big number I cannot use a 15 and a 15 and I get 30 SPF I have to use a 15 or a 30 because the one that has a higher SPF is gonna take precedence so obviously they should have thought about that I don't think it's an ashy sunscreen I feel like you have to work your you have to work your way through so you just apply it on your skin and just rub it and rub it and rub it like you have to really go in like you cannot just apply the way you apply your moisturizer and just go you have to really work it into your skin it doesn't um, the other thing I like about the sunscreen is it does not have that sticky you know that sticky weird feeling that you get when you have um, sunscreen it you don't you don't get that so it feels like a moisturizer it sits very well with makeup which is very surprising because other sunscreens that i've used didn't go very well with um uh, makeup but this actually does a really good job um so yeah i don't know what other concerns you'd have when it comes to sunscreen because i know that's a very sensitive topic um but i do suggest if you have any questions or comments or anything about specifically the sun well about everything but if you have any questions about the sunscreen or any sunscreen uh, for that matter you can uh leave it in the comment section and i can address your problems or your questions or your concerns um but that's what i think uh <laughs> Okay, so I hope like everything that I said made sense to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you also learned a lot from the video. Um, so I know right now you're probably thinking, so there's so much hype about around the environment products. Are they worth it? Are they not? This is my opinion. I feel like you can maybe get away with the gentle cleansers. I believe there could be cleansers out there that just do a, a job that, that's just as good, maybe for half the price. I don't know i'm not gonna lie to you but for me because this was my first ever i've never owned a gentle cream cleanser or a gentle cleanser or whatever so i've never owned any and this was my first so i can't really speak on it but i can tell you this if you are a beginner this would be a good place to start um on account of the company was by dermatologist so maybe she would maybe know what we need to start with i don't know but yeah so for me that's what i think however i do believe that there could be cheaper products out there that do you know just as good of a job um, and as for the moisturizer and the sunscreen I feel like the moisturizer is one of a kind I don't know if there's anything that in the market that can replace it just because like I have not explored that much as well but I must say that I am happy with the moisturizer like it's really changed my skin I have more of an even skin more of an even not an uneven an even skin tone and so I'm happy about that as for the sunscreen, I feel like I still insist the SPF should have gone higher on account of it's a South African company. They're treating women in Africa or men in Africa, so I think they should have gone a bit higher with the SPF. Generally, I think their products are quite good. I think they're worth the money. And I think they might actually live up to their hype. So if you're wondering whether you should get it, I would say go ahead. But on the other hand, I need you to note that different products work for different skin types. I could have somebody who's the same skin type as me, but the products might not really react the same. So just because it worked for me doesn't mean that it's outright going to work for you. I suggest you go see a professional 
it could be an aesthetician it could be a, dermat uh, a dermatologist but just go see a professional and then they can direct you um on what products to use based on your skin type so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for being here if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you know comment i'd like to hear what you guys have to say about everything that i've said share this video if you really liked it so yeah thank you guys and till next time bye bye